We're going to talk about these two smartwatches and which one I prefer for what. Come back. So I want to break down these two watches for you. Um, I showed them in the beginning as we started the video, these two watches. This is a Garmin Instinct. This is an Apple Watch SE. Uh, this one's my newest one. It's probably been, I've probably owned it about a year and a half now. This one I've owned for a little over two and a half, maybe three years. Now, they both will do the same thing. They both will give you messages when you have alerts, news alerts, whatever. Both of them will show you the weather. Um, both of them you can you can you can answer a call on this one as long as you got your phone or your earbud in. This one you can actually talk on it without having to pick up your phone. This one you can play music on. This one you can play music on. You can change play your know, songs and everything. This one you can change your playlist. You can change you can search for music on this one. This one will give you the weather. I'll show you here. This one will give you your current conditions and weather right, weather right now. This one, the Apple Watch, will give you the radar if you want the radar. So, I guess what I want to boil it down to is what is it you do? Well, I'm only going for a couple days at a time. Now, I will say this. This watch will last about a week and a half on a single charge. Almost two weeks. This one, good for two days. That's it. Two days. Now, my wife has a Samsung Galaxy watch. I got her for one of the bursaries or something. And it's the same thing. It's, it's a two-day battery life, and that's it. You have to recharge. Now, I will say, this one's plain, black, white, monochrome, nothing special. This one, you can get all the colors, you can get all the whatever you're wanting on it. Matter of fact, you can change watch faces. There's another watch face I have on this one right now. This one, you can change watch faces too, but you can't have artwork or anything like that. You're going to have a basic um, watch face. Biggest difference between the two... This one has a more reliable GPS built into it. it has a built-in, uh, what they call, breadcrumb. So if you want to go down a trail you've never been down before and you want to be able to get your way back, you can start it from where your starting point is and then it will return you back to that same point. This one you can pull up maps as long as you have them downloaded and you can do all kinds of mapping things with it. So you can actually find your way back on the trail. So I guess if it came down to which one is the better for what you do. Well, this one, like I said, a week and a half, I've gone on weekend camping trips and no problems. She run all weekend. This one went on a three day camping trip and was dead on Sunday. And when I say dead, I didn't see it again until I got home and charged it. So, if I'm going out on a long extended trip where I'm not going to be able to charge it as often, then I can get a charger and charge this thing off of my battery pack. But this one, I don't have to worry about that. This one, even in airplane mode, does not save the battery like it should. Now, both my, my Zilio will report back to both of these watches. This has its own app. This is built into the Apple phone, which I have. So I guess what it boils down to is number one cost. Uh, Apple Watch is much more expensive. Uh, these are around 300 bucks. I'll actually put the cost down below for this one and the current cost for the Apple Watch SE. Um, I love my Apple Watch. I wear this every day. 
I'll wear this on occasions or when I'm out on big long trips and that's it. Am I worried about getting this one wet, dirty and dusty and all that stuff? A little bit, it does. I do have a protective cover over it so that it doesn't, I don't take a chance on cracking the lens. They say they're waterproof. I'm gonna say water resistant. Uh, I'm not quite completely waterproof. This has been underwater numerous times. And when I say underwater, I mean underwater swimming, all that good stuff. I've had this watch for, like I said, three years. So it's been in the pool when we still had the pool going and it's been wet numerous times. You don't have to run it, but they, there's a company out there that offers this little plug right here that goes over the port. I bought it and put it on there just for the heck of it. I've never had a problem with this watch though. I didn't put that plug on it until like a year after I've had it and this thing had been in the water numerous times. Um, so I guess what I would have to say as far as which one should you buy for what you do, if you're going to be gone extended periods of time, I would say this thing. If you're not going to be able to charge the thing, I would say this. I would say the Garmin Instinct. If you're going to be able to charge every couple days, then this is fine. But that's the one thing I have run into with these two watches is this one will last a lot longer on charge than this one. And that may mean a lot to some people, especially backpackers and hikers. If you are gone an extended period of time, this is what you want. Not particularly this, because then that requires another cord, another charging option. This one, if I was going to be gone more than a couple weeks, then I would probably worry about having to charge it. But the charger for this is a regular USB to their one of a kind thing. This you can only use their one-of-a-kind thing and it's USB also. So there's your trade-offs. Um, I guess it comes down to cost and what you're really wanting. Rugged-wise, this thing has been beat up. This thing I've tried to take a little more care of and I heard it is bad. So there's that. You make your own decisions on the watches. I like both my watches, like both those smart watches. I really love my Apple Watch. I wish the battery lasted longer. Maybe it will at some point, sometime. I don't know, we'll see. Um, I know six is out now. I imagine by the, in, in starting the next year, they'll have the seven or eight out. I don't know. I don't keep up with that as, as much as I normally would. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Just throwing you some bits and pieces of information. I want you to research it yourself. See what you really need for yourself, but I'm telling you, if you, I think if you're into um, long periods of time on the road or whatever, or um, backpacking, hiking, whatever, especially if you're backpacking for a couple days at a time or three or four days at a time, this is what you want, not this. All right, guys, be prepared. See you on the next one.